This is a 1953 Dodge Coronet. I picked it up up the road for 200 bucks. It had a Hemi in it. The guy that had bought it previously before me pulled the old Hemi out and the car is pretty much junk. The floors were gone out of it, the frame was rotten. Honestly, it should have been scrapped. But I came across a vehicle, a newer vehicle that was smashed up and I did some measuring and it fit right under this thing. So what was the donor vehicle, you may ask? Well, some of you might know if I show you that. Maybe not. Maybe this will help. That's right. The chassis sitting under this thing is a 2008 Jeep Cherokee 5.7 Hemi. So guys, I can't stress to you enough how awesome this worked out. It was damn near meant to be. I don't think there's any other, definitely not 30s, I don't think there's any other 40s or 50s car that would slip around this Jeep the way this thing did. It's kind of hard to see that I got the fenders on now, but I literally was able to cut it all out, fit it on, and maintain all the body and everything on the exterior. I only had about a half inch lip here going down and it pretty much I welded it right off to the original pillar on the cowl of that Jeep. So yes right now technically it's a unibody car the body is not removable on here but neither was the Jeep and this it just worked out awesome. Most Chevys and stuff they kind of taper up over here and come forward and the firewall gets skinnier but this Coronet the way it was designed perfect couldn't have asked for a better deal. I did move the, the wheelbase was a little bit different on the Jeep. I moved the front wheel well opening back, I think about two and a quarter, two and a half. I split the wheel well in the center, added three inches there, brought it back in, welded it all up. Looks right to me. And the back wheel is actually forward about, uh, I'm thinking about nine to ten inches forward from where it was supposed to be stock on that Coronet. But it actually kind of gives it a like an altered wheelbase, like almost like a gasser look to it. It's pretty close to the door, but I think I'll be able to make up a nice fender flare, maybe even tie it into the door a little bit and clean that up. I just made the rocker on this side. I gotta finish uh, lifting the back up and doing that gap, but it's welded off in the front here. And I just made that rear quarter panel. The other side looks pretty much as bad as that side did pretty much gone the bottom foot of it got to put my gas door in yet take care of that make the rocker for this side trunk lids welded closed right now I actually was climbing in from the inside of the car tying it all off with bars and stuff off the Jeep chassis um, so at this point I got to get in there and start making all the tin work and all that stuff original gas fill was over here um, but I went to a junkyard and I found another one of these cool reverse lights they had and I'm just going to take another one of those, patch that hole, and put one over there so I got one on each side. Check out how this dash fit in this thing. Absolutely meant to be. The defrost ducts and everything pretty much exactly match the curve of the windshield in this 53 Coronet. I'm going to bend up a little angle iron here in the future. Uh, probably at about a, I don't know, 60 degree angle come down and then down to the dash here. I'll shrink it up and roll it in and fill all this up. And then uh, I do have the original trim for around that so it'll cover it up and finish it off nice. Um, some of the other things is I, I did have to cut the dash a little bit. I'm just going to plate these off maybe with aluminum or something like that, clean it up a little bit. I might have to change this to, uh, vent duct to something else to just gain a little more clearance inboard. Um, this window crank too actually comes out in the dash here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make aluminum door panels for it put them on and I think the plan is I'm gonna put a, a timing gear on here I got some timing gears with chains put a timing gear up on this thing run a chain back probably down here or something 
weld an aluminum bung in the door panel and put a, another crank on it and then we'll just have a chain that runs up between the dash to this crank and that'll get our window to go up and down. So basically I just set this thing down over the frame after I butchered the remaining Jeep body off of it and started tying it together and it just worked out awesome. The original seats are going to fit, going to be heated leather, uh, whatever, six disc CD changer in it. I got to finish my uh, wheel tubs in the back and all that stuff. I kind of just did some of this to tie it together at my house before I brought it here and just to make sure it was going to work and it, it definitely did. All the doors open and close really nice. Door gaps are off a little bit on the bottom. I think when I mounted it, I got the tail end up probably a quarter to a half inch more than it should be, but it's gonna be a rat rod. It's gonna be a quick, quick, cheap budget build. I mean, the thing runs and dries right now. I could get in it and tear down the street. So basically it's all cosmetics and a little bit of structural stuff now. And I'll be able to start driving this thing. I just got a sheet of diamond plate the other day too and my whole theory on this thing is being that it's a Jeep underneath all-wheel drive I kind of want to go like I don't know almost post-apocalyptic trail rig I, I'm gonna build diamond plate bumpers I want to do something a little more fancy not square and boxy I want to put a lot of design into it put some lights in it and stuff maybe a receiver uh, on the front and the back and I also want to build a roof rack on the thing and put uh, probably some uh, LED lights and stuff around it Basically just make it look like an off-road machine. Bumper design. We were kind of messing around drawing some pictures the other night. Kind of thinking something like this, integrating some square tube into it. Putting a lot of angles in it and stuff. But basically I'm the type of guy that I'll just start cutting parts, putting it on, and if it looks good you run with it. If it doesn't look good, well you cut it off and change it up. So basically the Jeep ran in drove when I got the thing except there wasn't a single straight body panel on it. It was punched pretty hard up here in the front corner and I think that's why they considered it totaled. Well I know that's why. Strut tower took a little bit of damage but honestly I measured everything up and it seems like it's going to be fine. I did cut the front rail off. Where is that? Up under here. You know that should come all the way forward. I'll just tie it off with some type of tubing or something. Come around, wrap it around, make a nice core support for the radiator. That's kind of Actually, it's pretty solid, but it's leaning back a little bit and crooked right now. We had a little bit of work to do on that. The radiator was also snapped off where this mount was. It actually twisted it off the tank and was pissing all the way along this seam. 60 bucks on eBay. I got a new radiator. Oh, and it broke the charge port off the uh, AC here. So I got a new can here. So, I mean, really, this thing's roadworthy right now. I've been driving in and out of here. No problems there. So, uh, well, let me throw the hood back on. I'll put it on the hoist here and rack it and show you guys underneath it. Got to get my driver's side door handle on yet. Oh. pieces of glass yet too.
take a look underneath. This thing fit pretty nice. Just made my rocker here the other day. I got to hammer on that a little bit more, but I'm sorry, quarter panel. But uh, this light out of our eyes. Yeah, I got about an eight inch gap here to fill in the back all the way around. I'm going to tie that together with a little more brace and get some structure in here and just start tinning all this stuff up. Everything's square and mounted right now. I got a bar all the way across from quarter to quarter here, um, kind of holding it square right now. I got a couple plates inside here going up from the pinch weld uh, to the original um, like wheelhouse where the uh, trunk hinge bolts. So everything's pretty solid. I just got to start tinning everything and remaking some of this stuff. But yeah, I guess it's really not that exciting looking underneath it because basically you're looking at the bottom of a 2008 Jeep. It's got a big crooked pipe welded in where the muffler was. Just got the rocker on on this side the other night and when I'm done welding it on the top side, I'll probably connect these uh, uh, floor braces back out to it or maybe come off of here with another panel just come down with sheet metal and over and then I can plug weld it through the bottom here or I guess I could do it like a pinch weld style too that'd be even stronger but I'll tie all that stuff off and finish it out and honestly it'll look basically like a factory job on the bottom side so I got a little more metal work to do keep going on this side get my rocker done in this quarter then I can move on to those bumpers and stuff like I said one thing, uh, any of you guys that stumble across this video, any of you Jeep guys or Hemi guys and all that stuff, I do kind of want to know, uh, I really am not looking for a lot of power out of it, the thing moves pretty good the way it is now, but what's the best tuner for one of these things? Um, I'd like to eliminate the cylinder drop and all that good stuff, uh, and I was kind of looking around out there, I'm really not too familiar with that stuff, I'm more of a old school small block Chevy guy, so when it comes to some of that tuner stuff and all that, if any of you guys have any suggestions for something that like I said I can eliminate the cylinder drop and maybe gain a little bit of power out of it what's uh what's the best bang for your bargain on a tuner for this for a 08 Jeep Limited or um, yeah Grand Cherokee Limited um, basically I got a few uh, pictures here now of when I was doing it I got a few pictures of it in the garage here with the uh, with the body cut off I got a basically a big sawzall blade and just whacked the thing down and it still ran and drove like that too. I backed it out in the driveway, uh, trimmed up the body. I had it on and off about three times to fit it, but these are some of the photos when I finally got it set down around that chassis and started uh, you know, tacking it into the position. Um, it, it was pretty smooth. It, it wasn't bad at all. I mean, there's a lot of work left here ahead of me, but it's gonna be definitely one of a kind. And like I said, just kind of picture the thing with aggressive kind of diamond plate off-road bumpers, a roof rack, LED lights all the way around the top. Probably be the coolest trail rig around, really. But anyway, this is part one. I'll keep you guys updated when I get more of the sheet metal work done. When I start doing the bumpers, we'll do some videos on that too. Like I said, I want to put quite a bit of styling into them and stuff. I want to make this thing, you know, a one-off badass machine. Thanks for watching. Until next time.